Well, by now, you may have heard of a 3D printer, a machine that lets you create a missing screw or a spare part just by downloading the right blueprint. You can guess these printers are very expensive, often out of reach for average consumers. But what if you could make them out of household items? Tonight's Only in Canada takes us to Saskatoon, where Bonnie Allen introduces us to two brothers who are trying to do just that. Rylan Grayston stands to make a lot of money from his invention, the world's cheapest 3D printer. But the money is the furthest thing from his mind. The 28-year-old barely remembers to eat. All I want to do is invent, so it's not, I don't want to buy a yacht. I won't be buying any fancy cars. No, keep them, keep them down okay. low. That single-minded focus is why his 22-year-old brother Nathan is handling the marketing. In my hands is the peachy printer the world's first $100 3D printer. In just one month, this preview generated three quarters of a million dollars online to get the project started. This design is pretty slick. Yeah, I'll grab it. But Rylan can also print 3D objects using this one made from household items. I didn't have enough money for a 3D printer that I wanted, and so I just started thinking about how could I do this myself. So here we have the heart in 3D. With no and training, he figured out how to convert a 3D image. Uh, you can see here these sound waves. Into an audio file. Then through coding, orchestrate mirrors and laser beams to carve 3D objects out of resin, which is basically liquid plastic. It's very low tech, and that's the beauty of it. This computer scientist says the peachy printer is the real deal. To be able to do it for a hundred bucks and basically with stuff where you can find around your house, uh, that's the thing that just changes everything. We hear that inventors can eat, sleep and breathe what they're working on. Here it's pretty close to the truth. Nathan, he can sometimes sleep out back. Rylan can just curl up on the floor. Last night when I fell asleep, all I could see was laser. He was curled up on the floor, and then when I came in this morning, he was sleeping with his head on the table over there. So if it didn't cure hard enough... Rylan Grayston plucked a lot of his ideas off the internet, so even though he's selling his peachy printer kit for a hundred bucks, he's also sharing all of his plans on the internet for free. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Saskatoon. Well, if you have an idea for Only in Canada, we want to hear from you. Just go to our webpage, cbcnews.ca slash onlyincanada, to send us your ideas, photos, and videos.